Hi guys, I'm Neil from Discovering a Wonderful World, and this is what it's like to sell off your stuff. So, a little bit outside, and then I'll, well, a little bit inside. Not a lot inside, but we've had four sales already before this, so we have sold quite a bit. Um, it's a process, and it's something you really probably want to take, I don't know, three, four, five months to try to get yourself ready for this lifestyle. If you're going to do this, it's a lot of work. And I would say the biggest thing is it's a lot of um, mental stress uh, because yeah, there's ups and downs in all of this. And you're trying to figure out everything, including, you know, everything from your stuff and what you're going to keep, what you're not going to keep. You know, you can't keep a whole lot. If you've got some good friends or you got a storage unit, you can keep a little more. But... It does uh, make it difficult with the personal items that you might want to keep. Um, and then you've got other things like your car, your house, different things like that that you might have to get rid of. And so the uh, whole process is definitely stressful, but I think it'll be very worth it in the end because as I get rid of stuff, I learned that Hey, I didn't need that stuff and it really just kind of creates a binding effect on you it doesn't allow freedom so that's what we're doing we're getting rid of probably 90% of what we own we've probably got rid of 60% already and so let me show you the inside this is all 50 cent items <laughs> or less and then in here We've got a few more items, but basically everything that we're taking with us has already been moved into one room or moved out of here at least. And uh, a couple things are going to friends' houses or already sold, but in general, I've got five to ten dollar items two and three dollar items and then a few dollar items and a few miscellaneous items around here and there's really not a whole lot left to go ahead and part with from the process an older computer um, got some kitchen items but for the most part we've got it pretty well taken care of at this point uh, this should be the last sale we have and it's Wednesday now, and it'll run through Sunday, hopefully Saturday, but if we need to go Sunday, we will. But I will tell you, it's been a long journey to get here. And just to get your stuff kind of decreased is difficult, no doubt about it. It's not an easy thing. Uh, it's every time you go to get rid of something, you think, well, I could use that. Uh, and then you have to make the decision that, hey, how often do I really use that? I've still got things sitting back that I'm sorting through that I'm debating. Do I really use that? Or am I just thinking in five years I might use that? Uh, you know, that's the decision you make. I mean... Yesterday, I made a decision on this because I don't know how many times this saved my hand when I was doing some brickwork around the house. Having the hammer and not hitting my hand because that little piece was on there. But am I really going to use that in the trailer going down the road? I mean, maybe once in five years or something? Not really worth keeping to lug around with you everywhere. So that is the tough part of getting rid of stuff is, is deciding what it is. And then you've got your personal family items and things like that. And you know, that's a heart wrenching decision sometimes, but 
I've decided to send a lot of it off to other family members and um, I've got a place to store a little bit of it and keep those memories alive. So anyway, I just thought I'd bring you a little bit of what we're doing and how we're decreasing items. Now in the kitchen items, what we did to give you a little idea of how this worked is we initially kind of sorted through things, put things and remember this is four sales into it. So we had more, um, but we had things over on this side. And as we use them, we put them over on this side and that way we knew if we were using something or not, because if you're not using it, why take it with you? Uh, you're probably not going to use it out there either. And it's even less of a chance that you use it than you do in your own house because you got less room and you got less things to bind you up out in the outdoors. So anyway, that's how we did it. Moving things back and forth. And we finally got down to what we thought we really needed. And so all this stuff is going away. <laughs> and if it doesn't sell, it's going to donation. So just know that it is a process. You will get through it. It just takes time. There's going to be stresses. It's never the right time. So you, if you're happy about it and you want to do this lifestyle, get on it and get it done. Hi there. So the sales are done. And this is what we have left. It's not much. And most of it is probably just going to go out to the trash, honestly. Or maybe donation. We might find a few things in there. But uh, we did really well on the sales. But, uh, I'm going to tell you, the whole process of this is very, very stressful. <laughs> yeah, you learn a lot of things through doing this. Not only about RVing and getting ready to do this process, but about yourself as well what kind of stresses you can take and you just kind of got to sit back and really you just have to uh, mellow out and take it as easy as you can and realize that hey things are going to work out they will every time you think uh it's just not going well something's wrong all that other stuff that gets in the way eventually it works out if you just take your time and you sit back and you don't stress too much about it so that's what we're doing. We're moving forward. We still have to put the house on the market, but we can do that and take off. You can do that from the road as far as selling the house. Uh, we've got the RV at least partially loaded now. And we're making our way to get things done. Uh, the house is pretty well cleaned out. So we need to start doing a few little minor repairs in there to get it ready to sell and hopefully in another couple weeks we'll be ready to get on the road so I wanna thank you for watching this video about our sale and about what we have went through just getting here um, like I said sometimes you gotta get rid of stuff you don't want to really sometimes you gotta get rid of stuff that you uh, Maybe you're going to sell a little cheaper than what you'd like, and sometimes you just give away stuff. That's part of it. We've given friends stuff. Um, that's just part of the game if you really want to get on the road and do this full time. So just take it easy, sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see our next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.